Good afternoon, Mad 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed our first video of the day. We talk about the base play for our offensive team of the week, and it was a very uh, jam-packed video with a ton of information, and I hope that it was impactful and applicable to your game in Mad 25. And in today's video, I hope that this video will be even better, and I hope that we can continue to improve the content for our videos. So now, today we're talking about base play for the uh, for the Nickel 35. The Nickel 35 is something I've been working on, uh, kind of under the radar, if you will. Uh, but basically, uh, it's just something that I, I started out with, I went away from, and I'm thinking about going back to it. But basically, what the this is from the New York Jets playbook. And we're going to have a breakdown where we talk about, you know, how do we set the audibles, how do we do X, Y, and Z. But in today's video, we're just going to break down this play for you. So the play we're breaking down today it comes from the New York Jets playbook, and the play is this Prowl Bear 3. Now, we like to make a couple of depth chart adjustments, and those will be in our uh, little uh, write-up that we're going to do, our post. And we're going to be talking about that, uh, but that'll be, that'll be covered. Uh, so don't worry about the adjustments I'm making on the screen right now. I'm just trying to get set up here and uh, get my roster to what I would want it to be like if I was going to go into a game right now. Um, just kind of giving you an example of, of something that it would look like. So anyway, uh, the play is Proud Bear 3. And the only adjustments that we have to make with this is we want to base a line. And we want to shift our defensive line to the right side of the screen. So now you see, if you, if you were to basically draw a line at the center position, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 guys to the right side of the screen. And then we have one, two, three, four, five guys to the left side. So we have more to the right than the left. But on the left side, we have this backer down here as if he was like a safety. Whereas at the top, the safety's back. So I hope you see that contrast. But basically, the, the, by shifting the line to the right, we gain uh, an extra player on the right side of the field. It also helps with some of the blitzes. But this is what the blitz will look like. You should get some A-gap pressure. Uh, and, and it's a really quick setup. I mean, literally, you're making two adjustments. And you really don't even, you don't even have to base line. I guess you could just leave it, and you could just shift your line to the left if you don't want to base a line. But anyways, guys, what I'm getting at with this play is this is something that's very simple to do. Okay, so we're taking something that's very simple to do, and we're going to do it every single time we come out of the huddle. We're going to baseline shift our linebackers, shift our defensive line to the right. Depending on what we see the opponent come out in, is going to depend on whether we go to our run defense version of this, we go to our pass defense, or we just sit in the base play. But what I like to do with this base play is I like to leave this flat route over here by major right, and I like to take this safety, and I just like to play center field. And this is really good for run defense because you can kind of use her in the middle. And you see that nice A-gap pressure that we're going to be able to get. Let's take a look here real quick. I don't know. I have not actually done the research on this one. I don't know what's going to happen when the I, I'm sliding the line inside here to pinch. Let's see if it stops the A-gap pressure. You see it does, but then you're going to get that pressure off the edge. So the beauty of this play is that you're going to get some form of pressure. And you're only sending five guys. And so what we're going to do by, by blitzing from depth, which is a post that we covered in our medium blog, in our blog site page, you can check all of that out in the description. We caught we talked about the difference between next-gen Madden and current-gen Madden, and one of the biggest differences is blitzing from depth. By blitzing from depth here, we allow the all offensive line to have to face a double team on the nose tackle. I really wish I was recording like a flip can so I could point it out. Watch the nose tackle on this play. Watch that. He's going to get stopped and, and then we're going to get the pressure. And so real quickly, uh, let me see if I can get a better example on this next. Let, let me just run it back, see if I can get a better example here. Let's see if we get what I want to see. And that's perfect. So let's, let me show you what I got here in Instant Replay. That's why Instant Replay is, is one of my favorite tools. Uh, and I think it should be a tool that you use a lot when you're in practice mode. Basically, let's take a look here. So we're going to flip sides over here to the defense. And we're going to watch. Uh, I really want to focus in on this. Watch what happens with the defensive line. So by blitzing those linebackers from depth, here we go through the play. It allows well, you see that see what that guard did? That's very subtle. But he double teamed this guy. He double teamed. Him. By blitzing from depth, we allow time for the offensive line to engage with the nose tackle, the right end, and the left end, and allows us time for Julius Peppers and DJ Williams to really get after the quarterback and get the sack. So I hope that that is something that resonates with you. I hope that you picked up on that. But this is the base play. All we do is base the line. We shift our line, uh, not our linebackers, our defensive line 
to the right. And then I like to play center field here with Hayden. And then, you know, that may lead me to maybe putting Walters over here into a hook zone or a, a curl flat zone so that I can kind of use her this left side. And uh, we see you get the pressure and uh, we get the sack fumble. And uh, we're off to the racials there. So, anyways, guys, I hope that this video provided some form of value. If it did, let me know what you learned in this video that you may have not known before you watched it. And let me know what I did that was maybe not so good that I can improve on. Am I talking too fast? Am I talking over your head? What what am I doing that I can improve on? Let me know. Give me some feedback. And talk with me on, Matt, on, on Twitter about your problems with Madden 25. Guys, what we're doing on this YouTube channel, what we're going to be doing on Fridays from now on is we're going to be doing a, play, uh, a time called Feedback Friday. And basically what it's going to be doing is throughout the week, I want you guys sending me your questions, your problems through Twitter or on comments, and I want to gather all those questions and I want to answer them. So if you have a question on like, say for example, how to stop the quarterback sneak, how to stop the uh, read option, how to stop the triple option, how to stop whatever it may be. You have a problem in Madden 25, you want it solved. Leave your feedback. I can't solve your problems if you don't ever ask a question. I need you guys to leave your questions on Twitter, in the comments. You can email them to me. But give me your questions so that I can answer them all for you in a nice video form. Show you what I'm talking about on Fridays from now on on my YouTube channel. And I hope that that video is going to provide a lot of value to you guys and give you guys something that you need uh, in Madden 25 to make the game funner, to make it uh, easier to play, and to make it more enjoyable in the long run for you. So once again, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, if you would do me just a huge favor, and if you enjoyed this video, if you would just leave me some feedback, I would really appreciate it. I can't wait to engage and talk with you guys later on in the comments. And thanks for watching. Once again, it means the world to me that I get to wake up every day and just talk about a game that I love playing, which is Madden 25. And I cannot wait for Madden 15. If you're excited for Madden 15, retweet and share this video on Twitter. Let me see the hashtag Madden 15, uh, and we'll talk on Twitter. Thanks, guys.